Um, but at worst, you could actually be getting something that's quite harmful. And in terms of, of terminating pregnancy, if it's not doing what it's designed yeah, to do, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> have you harmed your unborn baby that now you are going to Great continue time. with? So I think it's really important. Okay. She speaks a lot of sense, does Dr. Dawn. <laughs> now, what's, your, what's your take on it, Jeremy? Oh, I'm with the doctor. And I, I think there's, it, it is a very complex um, uh, thing. And I think this, this law is really archaic. Um, you know, it was made before women were even given the vote. Yes, it I mean, was. I actually feel that if, you know, if it does get past the 10-minute ruling, I don't think men should be allowed to vote on it. And why should men have any say on what women... Well, this is a very interesting vote. thought, isn't it, that actually the man is held financially responsible for any resultant child to the age of 18, but he has no say on whether that child is aborted or not. Yeah, yeah. Which is another uh, uh, inconsistency in our law, that you're expected to pay for a child that you may never have wanted, that you might even have been deceived into having.